Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation about this new semi-automatic indicator to trade all type of markers. If you remember, uh, about two weeks ago we presented the markers detector. Now we are automating this indicator and now we can trade any marker drawn by any indicator. Let's see some examples. Let's say, for example, that we have an indicator that places, for example, arrows. The super trend indicator is one of them. It places these arrows each time there is a change of the trend. So the usual way to trade it is going short. It's it each time a short trend starts and so on. So we need to detect when those markers are placed. So let's add the PMS markers indicator. The PMS markers has a part to define the objects that we want to detect. The this section present also on the indicator version only is to uh, Re, uh, replay a sound each time one of the symbols is detected and then the part of the trade. Let's go one by one. This is the section for the long objects. I am looking for an arrow in color blue. The tag We can find the tag on this section. When it is a number, we cannot filter anything important. Usually, some indicators have a string that we can filter. But on this example, we are not using any filter. The type of object is an arrow. <coughs> just place arrow and the color for down is red no tag also an arrow on the trade management we can select the ATM name if we want to trade on manual or full automatic mode and the money management options the maximum daily loss per day and the maximum daily profit per day. Also, if we want to show that information on that corner. We have also a time window to trade. Currently, it is set to 24 hours. And uh, we have some debugging options. I will enable all of them so we can see all the info on the screen. Let's play the market play so now we can see on this info bar at the bottom that we are looking for longs at arrows without the tag color blue and we are looking for shorts for shorts at arrow symbols without the tag in color red this is the current money management options we have no trades by now we can trade in manual or fully automatic we can enable the longs the shorts and we can also change the ATM we can click on the on this button so we can copy the settings from this ATM we can also look at the account that we are trading going to the placing the mouse over the the title of course we can change the account and let's see an example let's go to this bar at 1 pm 05 
play we enable the longs, enable the shorts <coughs> yeah, I'm using an ATM with only one contract 10 ticks of target 1 and 15 ticks of stop can see that on the this is the debug debug section on the debug section we can see all the info about the um, markers uh, placed on the screen this is also present on the indicator version only we can see the current bar the tag name the type of symbol it was an arrow up the price and the color the lag is the number of bars into the past it is placed it is placed one bars before current price action as we are filtering arrows in color blue then we are entering along with this ATM we can see that the current active ATM strategy is the one we selected if for example this was on manual mode after taking the first long this button will be uh, disabled so we must click on the long button again to take another trade Target filled. now we can see the the last trade and the daily profit currently 100 now I have the settings to manual so if I get a short signal and enter the market then this button will get disabled Again, now we have another object detected. This is the number of the bar. It was an arrow down in color red. Also, one bar into the past. We are on this bar, and the marker was placed one bar before. And now the button short is disabled because we are on manual mode. Target. Let's go to another example. This is a classic MACD crossover. As you can see, when the MACD crosses over a positive level, it fires a long vertical line, a blue vertical line. When it crosses below a negative line, it fires a red vertical line we can see the info of those markers it is blue, a vertical line and has the tag name LL and a number the short signal has the tag name HL and a number and it is color red so uh, for example if we, wo if we go to the 1375 the indicator will show us the detected object now we have the vertical line and we have also the detected information it has the tag HL it was a vertical line drawn one bar before current price action so 
So let's go to define the settings for the automated version on the PMS. We only need to set mm, it is a vertical line. We can place the filters for shorts it is HL and for longs it is HH. So let's let's keep it. This is the only object drawn in the chart. So we don't need to filter with more information. Let's go to 1305 uh, I, I have set this to manual now I'm going to use something with two contracts At the first vertical line in color blue, Order we are entering long using this APM. The long button was disabled because it is on manual mode. For the following example, I will switch to automated. I will enable again the long. So the next trade will not disable these buttons. I can also change the ATM Order filled. while it is trading. So the next trade will be using the new settings. <coughs> Again we can see the current daily, pro daily profit and the last trade profit. We can also limit those numbers with the money management section. Currently it is disabled because it is on a very big number to the profit and to the loss. But we can limit so the system will not take more trades. This is another example using the reversal indicator. If you already know this indicator, it shows um, oversold and overbought bars. And it has also a, um, an unconfirmed signal. So it place, places unconfirmed signals and at the end of the bar, those signals are deleted and replaced by confirmed or not. Let's see an example. We can see an unconfirmed signal. It is deleted, placed. We can see that it is being detected by the system, by the PMS marker systems, until the signal was finally confirmed. And we can use that info I am interested not on the dark cyan, but on the cyan dots. So we can change the settings for the PMS markers. Now we are looking for cyan dots and red dots. Let's go back to 1357 and we can enable 
long and short in manual mode. Now we have an unconfirmed signal. I'm going to use a bigger position. Only when the detected object is in cyan color, it will fire this order. Order filled. Tart we can see that the long button was disabled because we are working on a manual mode. We must click on the button to take a new trade. Okay, we can see that we can detect any... I will make an, uh, a demonstration of the objects that this can detect Let's say, for example, that we draw a, dr a line. We can see that it detected a type line, uh, an arrow. It detected an arrow line, the price, and the number of bars it was drawn from the past. It detects any any kind of markers for example, uh, an arrow up if we change the name you can see that it also detects the tag of the object even if we move the object it is also detected. So we can monitor any object or any line available on Ninja drawn by any strategy or indicator. And we can fire an ITM each time that happens. We can also limit the money management of the day we can limit the, num the, the, the daily loss and the daily profit. Okay, thank you everyone. Bye bye.